Hey folks, Farhan Akil here from Geeks Creative and in this video we are going to set up the Lumin SDK with Unity 3D to create some cool apps for Magic Leap. We are going to create this simulation in which a character is dancing and you can see that I can see that in the virtual simulator. Uh, this is the Magic Leap simulator of course. So we are going to create this one. As I move like my head under the simulator, you can see that the camera in Unity also moves. Okay. So let's get started. Now the very first thing you would need to do is you need to update your Unity 3D because currently the Magic Leap support is for only 2018.1 technical preview and depending upon when this video is being watched the preview might become stable. So what you would need to do is just go to this Unity 3D.partners.magicleap and I'm surely going to put this link in the description below and you can go there and you can just um, scroll down you can download this I'm on Mac right now so I'm just going to download this OS X installer and when you click on installer it will going to download the installer file and I've already like installed that Unity 3 uh, technical preview so I'm not going to do that again now the next thing uh, you can install that it's just next 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 nothing else now the next thing you would need to do is go to this creator.magicleap.com slash downloads and uh, when you go to there it will going to download uh, some sort of a module for Unity 3D so that you can switch your platforms from default PC to Illumina SDK that will going to run on Magic Leap Simulator. So you can just download for Mac or download for Windows when you are going to click on downloads it will going to download a package manager. Now once you run this setup, it will going to install a package manager. Uh, let me just show you. When you are done with the install, it will going to open this package manager and you will be getting the option to download the latest Lumin SDK for Unity 3D. Now I'm just going to show you in one minute. There we go. Uh, it is asking for me to sign in and it sends a new code that I'm going to open it. Uh, my Hotmail. Here I have pasted my code and I can just click on continue and it will going to redirect me to the default dashboard page in the, in the Magic Leap Package Manager. Now you would need to like download this one, the Lumin SDK. Uh, it should have this check. If you don't have this check, you can just click on download and install. It will going to install Lumin SDK in your uh, like PC or Mac or whatever you're using. Now the next thing, uh, you can also download this Magic Leap Unity package but it doesn't do anything uh, yet because the project we are going to develop in this video doesn't require this external Magic Leap Unity package. The reason why, you are just going to see in like 2 minutes. The next thing, mm, we don't need any other thing. If you are not sure about your Unity version, you can also just click on this button open in browser and it will going to redirect you to the same version like this technical preview version you can see that same URL same URL now once you have this check here like Lumina ZK what you can do you can just search and magically remote with magically remote you will be able to start a simulator that will going to load a virtual room for magically to run and uh, let it start okay so I'm in the default screen like it gives me an option to start a simulator and start a device but what we are going to do is we are going to start a simulator so just click on it and it will going to start a virtual simulator that will look something like this okay now for the very first time it will going to ask you for several permissions like this one this allow Sometimes it asks again, I'm not sure why. And here you can see uh, you're going to have this issue when you start the simulator is because you don't have any virtual room. And as you don't have any virtual room, so you're just getting this wide magic leap icon that you can pan and you can rotate your head around. What you can do is you have the option to load virtual room, but you won't have any virtual room because you haven't created it yet. And to create a virtual room, what we are going to do is, let me just quit this Magic Leap remote. We are going to start this again, but let's just quit it for now. And it was going... 
and it asked for a permission so I gave it now what you need to do is you can just go to the installation directory of magically and I can access that through my hard drive uh, users that's my username and there you go you have you would have one magically folder in the start and when you have two it means that you have a room so I created a room before but right now let's just go into magically go to MLSDK this one version 0.11.1 and in this virtual device go to bin and there you have it virtual room generator just double click on it and it will going to open an application that will allow you to create a virtual room so we have this and I'm not going to do any modification in the room and it only allows me to look at the room that are currently available uh, we can generate random rooms from this button as you can see and the room that we're going to create uh, I think if you like move your mouse or scroll down or scroll up you can see that you can move around your virtual room now you really don't need to save this room what you can do you can just export this room because you want to load this room in the simulator now as we have this uh, you also have the option to change and modify any thing that you want now I think this is okay or you're just going to create a random room and click on export when you're going to click on export it will going to give you an option to save as the exported room and here you can see I have this first room and magic leap uh, demo this is the name that I gave it and you can just close this one and exit now you can start the simulator again we are going to our spotlight search and look for magically promote and once it is started you can just click on this start simulator and it might ask you for the permissions again and let's just give it this permission allow now we have that demo um, wide room again so what we can do is we can just load this virtual room load virtual room that we have just created and the magic leap demo is right here and when you double click on it you have like this room and you're in this room and you can pan and zoom and whatever you can you want to do you can just do it like that okay so as you can see here we can like interact or we can just look around in the room and just like doing this now the next thing is you will need to create a project that is going to run on the simulator and to do that what we can do is we can just uh, minimize this okay just go to the unity 2018 technical preview now make sure you have the same version like 2018.1.0 b8 it is a technical preview and uh, please don't get angry if you see any bugs because it is a technical preview and Magic Leap has just announced its support for this version now to create a Magic Leap project what you would need to do is just click on new and then you can give it a name uh, what you can do is you can just give it any name uh, let's just magic leap dance demo and under this template you can just select magic leap and the only difference between this 3d and magic leap is that when you're going to click on create it will going to set up the camera according to the magic leap environment that it is going to set the skybox to black and it will only going to render the things that are required in the simulator like the magic leap simulator and the project name is okay template has been selected uh, I don't want any analytics on this project so I'm just click on create project now the project has been created and as you can see that the default platform is PC Mac and Linux standalone personal uh, with this metal and uh, you can also see that we have the sample scene that's that's a good thing about this preview that is that uh, you get a sample scene that is already saved and if you click on S you don't get the option to like rename this scene and save scene as 
and the very first thing we need to do is we need to make sure that our platform is not this PC we want the platform to be the luminous decay now if you have already installed the magic leap packages you would really get this luminous decay and luminous OS option and uh, when you click on switch platform make sure that it has the SDK location and to like just search you can just click on these three dots and just go to hard drive users Furhan and it's under magic leap well, SDK this is this is the path in which your SDK will reside now just click on choose and click on switch platform now we have this project like uh, switch to Luminous ZK and as it's a technical preview and if you get any sort of a bug or a crash in Unity uh, don't worry about that just a technical preview bug it's all going to go away in later versions just make sure that you have this Unity icon under Lumina OS and you have this SDK path right here now uh, let's set up that character uh, I took the liberty of downloading that character from examo.com and here's the character uh, I'm going to make it available to you guys as well under the description so let's just import that in unity uh, okay under assets and if you click on assets you can see that the character is here it is always a good practice to organize your things and what we are going to do is we are going to create several folders for 3D models, animations, animator, and like materials. So the first folder is uh, models, and you're going to drag this character inside this model. And if you click on the character and if you drag right here, you won't see any like textures. It's it's plain white. We don't want that. Just delete that. And under character, uh, let's just set the scale factor to 0.5, uh, as because I have tested it before. <laughs> It's not a guess. So under materials, you have this extract textures option. Just click on that and just choose. It's all going to extract the textures from this character FBX file and it's all going to import that in your project. So the next time you import your character in 2018, make sure that you extract the textures as well. So it's just, just an option. okay now the character is here if we drag this in our scene you would be able to see it with textures so we got our textures you can see that we have those textures now the thing we need to do is make sure that it is behind our camera currently it is on the camera uh, we don't need to uh, change the position of our camera but we need to change the position of our character so what we are going to do is make like three on Z axis or four should work fine. And on the rotation, let's just make it 180 so that it can dance like in front of us. <laughs> so uh, uh, we are getting this object null references. They are technical preview bugs. Don't worry about them. So we have this character set up. And let's just, uh, if we play this, we won't have anything because we haven't set up the animations yet. Make sure it's working. Okay, so it's a static game object that is not doing anything. The next thing we would need to do is create an animator. And we are going to create a folder for animators. And inside this folder, let's just create an animator controller and name it a character okay and just open up this character animator and under the model you would have this mixamo.com what you can do is you can just go to this character under the animations tab just rename it to dance okay and make sure that loop time and loop pose is checked is because that your character is going to dance continuously otherwise it will going to end its animation when these these frames are over okay just click on apply and in this animator state just drag this dance and we don't need to do anything else just make sure that your character has the character animator the character animator is the same that we have just created 
Now, if we click on play, we will be able to see that our character is dancing. Now, as you can see that the character is dancing, uh, let's just start this in the simulator. If we want to make this character dance in the simulator as well, what we will need to do is we want to make sure that the camera has been set up according to that simulator's room. So what we can do is we can just enable zero iteration and it will going to ask the version library, do you want to re-import them? Yes, re-import. And it will going to ask you to restart the editor. And yes, it is mandatory that uh, you will have to restart the editor. You don't need to select any project which you want to restart. It will going to do that automatically, okay? Just click on restart, save scene, yes. We have an unsafe scene, the sample scene. Now the project has been loaded and the zero iteration has also imported some magically virtual devices that will be able to run this project on the simulator. Now what we can do is we can just click on play, okay? And if we just maximize the simulator again, let's, let's check what happens, okay? Let's check. It might lag okay here we can see that we have this character and uh, the way that you can determine whether your project is working perfectly with the simulator or not is when you're going to move your head in the simulator you will notice that I'm not sure whether my mouse is like uh, pointing out in the screen or not but you're going to rotate your head in the simulator the camera in the unity is going to move as well okay so that was it so in this video uh, we have learned how we can set up the Lumen SDK with unity 3d and how we can set up our camera and how we can import the Lumen SDK library virtual devices in our game and that was about it uh, that was it for this video Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I'm going to post some more videos with Magic Leap, uh, depending upon how much time it take me to learn more about it. And uh, I'm really excited about Magic Leap because it's like it's something great. It, it's really great. Okay, so goodbye.